Hello guys, this is Sukuda Kotak this side from BA Duke. Welcome back to our channel for daily current affair videos. Ash this is currently current affairs of 27th September 2022. Before starting with the current affairs for the day, don't forget to follow our Instagram channel BA Duke Official where regular exam updates and quiz are uploaded. Jaldut app has been recently launched by the Ministry of Rural Development. The app has been developed to track the water level in the selected wells and villages across the country. The app was launched on 27th September in New Delhi. The Gram Rosgar Sahyuk will measure the water level of the selected wells twice a year, that is, before and after the monsoon through the Jaldut app. The ministry said that the data of this app will help in making a better action plan. The ground water level data will be helpful in the Gram Panchayat Development Plan and the Mahatma Gandhi Planning Exercises. According to the ministry, several steps are being taken to improve the water management in rural and urban areas. This includes watershed development, afforestation, water body development and renovation and rainwater harvesting. Dada Sahib Falke Award 2020 is awarded to veterinarian actress Asha Parikh, Giorgia Meloni is the Italy's first woman prime minister. The Brothers of Italy party won the national elections in Italy and this was the first time since the World War II to form a right-wing government. Since the formation of the Italian Republic in 1946, 30 men have served the country as the prime minister before her. She will be the first woman to lead the government. Meloni was Italy's youngest cabinet minister. According to the final results, the centre and the right-wing coalition won a total of 44% of the parliamentary vote, with the Meloni's brother of Italy party winning 26% of the total. Supreme Court live-streamed the proceedings of the constitution benches starting from 27th September. This was done on the website webcast.gov.in.sc India. Food Barons report claimed that the geographic center of the power of food barons is shifting towards east. The report titled Food Barons 2022 has stated this, that the Skyndenta group is now the world's largest agrochemical input firm. After Cargill of the US and China's Kofco group, this is the second largest agricultural commodity trader in the world. In the past, the industrial agriculture was dominated by the companies based in North America and Europe, and they were focused on meeting the demand of that particular region. Now, the corporate companies of China, Brazil, and India are recording the industrial food chain. Companies from China, Germany, USA, India, Japan and Australia are among the top 10 companies with the highest agrochemical sales. That's it guys, starting with the current affair quiz. These are the answers to the questions asked in the previous quiz. What is the name of the Indian Sign Language Dictionary mobile application recently launched? The correct answer is Sign Learn app. The next question was, Swachh Vayu Sarvekshan Program is implemented by which union ministry? The correct answer is Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. The third question was, India exported the first consignment of plant-based meat products from which state? The correct answer is Gujarat. Starting with the current affair quiz for the day, the first question for you guys is, as per the sample registration system, SRS report which state had the lowest sex ratio in India in the year 2018-20. The second question is, which state has created a memorial for the rhinos using ashes named as the adob of the unicorns? The third question for the day is, when is the World Tourism Day observed? Please mention your answers in the comment box below. The person who is giving a correct answer will be given a shout out in the next upcoming video. Shout out to Priya for giving a correct answer. Also guys, don't forget, Be Educare is conducting a weekly current affair quiz contest. 
where one winner will get an opportunity to win an Amazon voucher worth rupees 100. All you have to do is comment of the answers asked in the quiz on a regular basis and you will get a chance to win an Amazon voucher worth of these 100. That's it guys. Subscribe to our channel. Share this video as much as possible. For classroom, live class, recorded lectures, books, ebook centers, facilities, please contact on the number which you can see on your screens. For detailed information, download the app from the link which is given in the description box below.